I get so freaking serious when I talk about skincare, I can't even. Hi guys, so today I am going to be talking about how I got rid of my acne and also how I maintain my skin to look clear and acne free. I have a whole nother skincare routine that I do to really, really keep my skin healthy and clear. But in this video, I'm just gonna tell you what I have used that actually worked for my skin. So to start off with any typical skincare video, I guess I should tell you what my skin type is. My skin type is dry, acne prone, and sensitive. It's a really weird case of whatever my skin is because when you think, oh, acne prone skin, you wouldn't think that should be dry because when you say acne, pimples, whatever, you think about oily skin. For some reason, my skin is very much acne prone if I do not take care of it properly. So growing up when I was going through puberty, I didn't have lots and lots and lots of breakouts. I never really had cystic acne. I never really struggled with major, major pimples or anything like that but I would always have bumps on my forehead and until recently I was still having lots of bumps on my forehead for no reason if I could find a photo I'm gonna insert it somewhere here on the screen so my problematic area on my face would always be my forehead and it was really irritating because whenever I wear makeup it was always so bumpy and cakey looking. For my cheeks area, I never really broke out. I do not have much like scarring or anything like that on my cheeks. And on my chin, I would break out occasionally during that time of the month. So a couple years ago, when I was getting really, really tired of having acne and not having clear skin, I did a lot of research on what actually works on getting rid of acne. And I came across something called the Regimen from Acne.org. The Regimen from Acne.org is the first set of products that I've tried that actually worked to get rid of my acne. I don't have the whole regimen with me because I got rid of some, but um, basically it looks something like this with um, another bottle that looks like this for a cleanser. The packaging looks different now, but this is just what I used to use. So this is the treatment and this is the moisturizer and of course there is another bottle for a cleanser. So the regimen from acne.org is basically a three-step regime system. The key ingredients for getting rid of acne is benzoyl peroxide. Now, this treatment from acne.org is a 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. From doing a lot of research, I've learned that the higher amount of percentage of the benzoyl peroxide that you're using is not necessarily going to be more effective. If anything, it's just gonna irritate your skin and it's just gonna dry out your skin way, way too much. So I use the regimen, I use the cleanser, I use the treatment all over my face, especially on my forehead, and I use the moisturizer, which I really hated the smell of this and I never actually finished. I think I was using it for about two or three months and my face was completely clear. I did not have any pimples on my face anymore. But one thing that I've realized is that my skin became really irritated and sensitive and itchy and red. I remember sitting in class and I would always itch my forehead because it was so itchy and irritated. My skin was pretty much really irritated from all the stuff, all the chemicals, all the benzoyl peroxide that I was putting on my face. Other than the benzoyl peroxide that I was using, from the acne.org line of skincare. I also use the 10% AHA lotion from acne.org. So it's pretty much a 10% glycolic acid that you put on your face and it is a chemical exfoliant so it will exfoliate the layer of your skin. So the regimen from acne.org was really good at just getting rid of your acne that you currently have. When my skin cleared up, I got really cocky and then I stopped using the regimen and then my acne came back. The regimen is not really practical for everyday use and you obviously cannot keep using it forever because I noticed that my skin was getting really wrinkly and it was really hard to incorporate any other skincare products into the regimen because you really don't want to mess up and then 
not have it be as effective as it could be after I was breaking out again especially on my forehead and I was also breaking out on my cheeks I was again so fed up with my skin not behaving so I did some more research and I came across the best skincare line that I have ever used in my entire life and it is the Paula's Choice skincare line. Paula's Choice have something called the Clear Acne Kit and it looks something like this. This is the full size. This kit specifically is for mild to moderate breakouts and it comes with a cleanser, an exfoliant, and a treatment. You get a cleanser, a big ass cleanser. You get an exfoliant, which is a 2% salicylic acid. And then you get a treatment, which is a 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. Again, 2.5%. This is like the most effective benzoyl peroxide that I have ever used. Like this whole kit is just amazing. What's really amazing about this kit is that it's really simple and it's really really effective and you can literally use this for the rest of your life if you deal with acne. Literally every single skincare that I use except like my daytime moisturizer which is whatever I use is from Paula's Choice. So with the skincare routine that I have been doing religiously, I actually do not use the exfoliant and the treatment in the morning because I have found out that that dries out my skin way too much. So in the morning, I just use the pore normalizing cleanser by itself and then I put on my moisturizer, my sunscreen, and then I put on makeup. And at night, this is when I really, really take care of my skin. So I will, of course, remove my makeup and then I will go in with the cleanser and then the liquid exfoliant and then I will go in with the treatment. Now, what's really really amazing about this benzoyl peroxide treatment is that it is so lightweight. It absorbs into your skin really quickly but when you put something else on top of your skin after you put this on you don't feel like everything is just slipping and sly and it just doesn't really combine. Now this is a regular strength one that they have. I know that they have an extra strength one as well and that is a 5% benzoyl peroxide. Honestly, I do not recommend that one because I feel like 5% is way too much and it's just going to dry your skin out. Even if you have like severe acne, I would say go with the 2.5% anyways and try it out and really see if that works for you. So when I was using the skincare from acne.org, I was using their 10% AHA lotion and that was somewhat um, a little bit too much for my skin. And I have found something that is so much better. It is the Paula's Choice 8% AHA gel. It is, yes, a glycolic acid. For your face and I will use this every other day if I feel like my skin is dry during the week but sometimes I don't but pretty much I will use this every other day every two to three days to really exfoliate the top layer of my skin besides the whole skincare from Paula's Choice that I'm seriously obsessed with it's really important if you want to take care of your skin to really remove your makeup before you go to bed the worst thing you could do to your skin is to not wash your face and wear makeup to bed the wipes that I use to remove my makeup is actually this Huggies baby wipes like this huge, like this whole thing is 99 cents and it has 57 towelettes in here and I've tried a bunch of other wipes for the face I've tried the Burt's Bee one, the Simple one, um, the ones from Sephora honestly like they don't really make much difference so I just stick to this because it is gentle and it is cheap so what I do is I use this to remove my makeup then I wash my face with the Paula's Choice Cleanser and then I go on with my routine. So something else that I do to kind of amp up my skincare a little bit is I use a clay mask. This is a teeny tiny mini Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask that I got in a little kit. So maybe once a week when I feel like I really want to detox my skin, I use this clay mask and I put it all over my face. Then I let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I just rinse it off. It has really been helping me with 
maintaining my skin clear is to remove my makeup, drink a lot of water, and just stick to the skincare that I've developed. Okay guys, so I think that is everything that I have to say about how I got rid of my acne. Um, it's really simple, honestly, like, if I had known that it could be this easy, I will not do all the extra stuff that I used to do. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!